welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to be talking about my Kitomo TV Yard. Let's get going. So, it has actually been a while since I read and I'm really excited to get back into reading. So, I actually took a break from reading to focus on my sequel, but she, you know, so I actually got the sequel done and then it has came back from my editor. So I do want to make a writing vlog where I show you all about the edits and how I edit my book and all that. So that is coming and I'm excited for it. But for now, I don't know if you can tell. Oh my god, this is heavy. But all this is my reading book, is my books for my October TV art. So, let's see what we have. So my first book, I actually already finished it, and I don't know how to feel about it, in all honesty. Weird, but I just, and it kind of makes me feel empty in a way. I don't know how, but I know it. I just find a whole reading experience weird. So, and that book is Captain Gemma by Princesa Zapia. And oh boy, this book is a one interesting read. I really did like like the illustrations that they had. The illustrations look so cool. So I thought that was like a really nice touch to the book. And then there's this one. So I thought that was like a really nice book, like a touch to the book. Like this book, there is trigger warnings like violence, bullying, Various kinds of bowling, go on, death. So if you want to read it, do be careful because of those trigger warnings. But yeah. Going to the present, we're following Cat and the other students who got trapped in the school while being turned into unusual creatures. We have Cat who is wearing a mask. And then we got a boy who is cardboard and a girl who has a proclaimed doll. Now in the past, Cat's memories, we are starting to piece what has happened and how they got trapped in the school. There was still a, yeah, I will tell you all about Lena in my wrap up, but um, it was still interesting, but it was still really dark and weird, so yeah. So for my next book, I'm actually about halfway-ish of the book and it's gonna be a lot. I think I really know what the meaning will be but this book is Mary Will I Die by Sean Charles. So I know with the creeping cover who wouldn't like it. And then we also have this one. So, so four kids and five years ago they decided to play the Bloody Mary game. And oh boy, what could go wrong, I wonder. So in their version, if you look into the mirror and chat her names 13 times, it's supposedly to show your true love or, her, or your death. So now, five years later, the four kids who, are, who have played the game are now facing the consequences. And things are turning interesting when a new girl arrives and her name is Mary. So, creepy vibes and it's perfect for October because of the spooky Halloween. So, and I think I did mention this and I also played Bloody Mary when I was a kid. I was dumb. My friend and I wanted to try it. Yeah. So, I will leave it up to you if you believe in Bloody Mary. And, if you did, comment down below if you have played the Bloody Mary game. Let me know. The next book is Ecstasia by Claire Legrand. So this is supposed to be like the Handmaid's Tale. As your thoughts are good, becoming a saint. But, it, but what it actually is, it is a cult. This is torn by the wicked woman in the, in the haven, a place where the humanity survives by the grace of God. Teens chosen by the villagers become the souls people to take on the sins on. The village has been plagued by gruesome death. Our saint named Emily. Now she is discovering the village and how there's a lot more things to the village than meets the eye. So goes with a newfound power. Bodies began to pile up. Emily to save heaven, burn it to the ground. So, and that reminds me a little bit of the Hasmate tale, even though I never watched it, but 
and 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 that's look really interesting. So, see, we have go, Saint Witch. Uh, and there's also content warnings as well, so do be careful. There's like abusive and gaslighting. So, do be careful with the content warnings. My next book is Blood Like Fate by Liz Assembly. So, I, this is one of the books where I'm not going to reveal the summary. Just because the summary itself actually starts with a spoiler from the last book. So, but basically we have Roya who needs to see for community from harm. And that's all I'm gonna say because like it really is spoilers. If if you haven't watched read the first book, Blood Like Magic, then don't read the summary of this one. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't read this one. The last book is I'm really excited for this one, so I will also plan to have a mini vlog about this so you can capture my experience and all that. So I, I'm excited to start the reading vlog. And that is Fable but out of Kwong. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. So, so we're following the family of a young boy named Robin Swift that who dies of Carmel. There's a stern professor who takes him away. A stern English professor takes him away from China. He arrives in Elton and Oxford in 1828 and is in trust in English lessons. He might one day join the prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, known as Babel. Babel. So, I'm excited for this. Like, I cannot wait. I'm ready for this. It is long, it is thick, but I am ready for this. Okay, so that is all my books for my October TV yard. Let me know what are you reading for October. And if you are reading some horror, let me know as well. And please like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be alert every time I post. And I will see you next one. Bye!